Hello, good afternoon. It's Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for end of day, Monday, the 15th of August 2016. Please be sure to visit tradesignal.com. Signals and market updates from leading providers. You can certainly download the app at Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, in terms of the market close, okay, so really it's um, the emphasis now really is going to be on US markets and how they react now. Thus far, the S&P certainly has made new highs, along with the uh, the Nasdaq and making new highs. I was expecting a potential reversal or rebound, and that certainly hasn't occurred. As you can see here with the Dow certainly breaking out higher, whether or not it can sustain itself is another question, but certainly have broken out to uh, potential new highs. So again, all these resistance levels certainly being chopped to pieces, okay? And again, markets making new highs. So. Oh, it's, it's a good question. I mean, overnight we had the Asian markets, uh, well, mixed really. You had the Shanghai up a stellar 2.4%, but that was linked more towards the potential uh, exchange, uh, the Shanghai exchange. So again, um, is that more to do with the front running of that or is it actually your domestic organic growth? I mean, again, it's debatable. Uh, then we had the, uh, the Nikkei. Uh, down overnight by 0.3% on the back of weaker GDP numbers. Again, a failed QE policy with USD JB, JPY languishing as well. Again, that certainly needs to be uh, brought into question as well. So can the US market sustain their rally based on light volume, potential QE? It's, it's, it's debatable. It's not something that you'd like to chase. I mean, you can look at the NASDAQ as well. Look at that gap higher, folks. I mean, we uh, closed around the 48.05. I was expecting the resistance at 48.15 to hold. And we've certainly literally gapped higher and, and, and we've certainly pushed higher, gap and go. Uh, now, whether or not this is a short squeeze, we'll certainly find out. Whether or not this gap will close eventually, we'll certainly find out as well. So, again, certainly a circumspect, okay? Certainly circumspect, uh, suspicious of any rally, as you can see here, as the market rises, the volume dips. It's not exactly a good sign. RSI, extremely, extremely overbought now, okay? Uh, so, again, it's interesting, okay? Again, interesting. So, let's just have a look here. Uh, pivot point on price you can clearly see on the pivot points on price chart as well you certainly have exceeded the pivot r3 resistance so interesting okay so again this market severely severely overbought from my perspective okay and looking to potentially close the gap below which is around the 4806 zone okay so looking for a weaker price action on the s on the S nasdaq and obviously uh, the uh, s p 500 as well Bear with me whilst this saves, and I can certainly move, be able to move on then. Okay, let's look at the uh, German DAX now, folks. Okay, just bear with me, it's saving. Come on, hurry up, hurry up. Okay, in terms of, I'll just talk over the fundamentals for now. No real fundamentals, really. It was uh, the Assumption Day holiday, so again, that did contribute to weak uh, volumes. Okay, we had the uh, JPY. Data are overnight, really, that was the only real fundamental driver. We've had uh, New York's Empire State data come out weaker and uh, the housing market index came in flat, more or less. OK, so again, certainly circumspect. OK, so nothing really to give us any direction in terms of fundamentals other than the fact that we're relying on the Friday's weaker retail sales number. OK, so all eyes on that weaker retail sales number that was registered on Friday. Again, that certainly is the uh, real driving force into today's price action. And obviously the weaker GDP number from Japan and the lack of movement from USD JPY. Now let's look at the actual technicals now. Let's move on to the German DAX first and foremost. Okay, so let's go to the daily chart, the German DAX here, folks. You can clearly see we have a topping tail in the daily chart. So again, indicating weakness, indicating resistance. We're into gap fill resistance, as you can see here. Therefore, German DAX is into resistance on the larger time frame. The daily chart, at the moment, you had a potential bull flag which has failed really, okay? So again, looking for a breakout uh, lower out of this uh, bullish channel or rising channel, okay? And you can clearly see that confirmed with the potential h &S formation as well, okay? So looking for a h &S formation reversal lower and looking to potentially close the gap at 10.630 zone, okay? <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, now in terms of the uh, well, cross verifying that with the MDAX 50, same concept here, h &S formation on the MDAX 50. The tech all share, you clearly see previous resistance equals support, certainly holding that level for now, okay? And again, looking for a lower high on the 10 minutes on the uh, tech all share performance index, which really is the uh, 
is the Nasdaq of the European indices. Okay, so again, indicating weakness there by confirming weakness in the Nasdaq, which really hasn't transpired. Okay, in terms of the French CAC, let's just bring up the French CAC for you. Okay, so French CAC on the 15th of August, again, a topping tail, folks. Okay, topping tail at horizontal resistance. Okay, certainly weaker out the two indices. 60 minute chart at the moment. I'm looking at this potential HLS formation. Okay, so you have this bullish channel, upper channel, upper resistance zone certainly held, and the market certainly has reserve, reversed quite sharply since. Okay, now looking for a lower high for rejection, and then obviously looking for the continuation of the move lower. Okay, 10 minute chart, the French CAC at the moment. Again, you clearly see this HLS formation, your left shoulder here. Your head has been obviously confirmed around the 4525. Now looking for a weak right shoulder, okay, and then looking for a move lower, okay, folks. So again, indicating weakness, okay. Let's cross reference that now with the Euro stocks, folks, or the FTSE 100 actually, whilst we have it whilst we're here, okay. FTSE 10 minute chart certainly confirming resistance at around the 6953 zone, okay, looking for risk off. Uh, 60 minute chart, you have this rising contracting wedge pattern, okay, again, risk off, okay, bearish pattern. Any rising contracting wedge patterns certainly should start ringing alarm bells from a technical perspective. Daily chart of the FTSE 100 really are still languishing at the highs, okay. Uh, from a horizontal perspective, horizontal resistance perspective, the next real resistance is seen around the 6970, so we're not too far off. 6970 really is a real resistance zone, okay. So again, all eyes on that, okay. So in the weekly chart, we certainly are, are overstretched on the FTSE 100 too. Now, there was a comment over the weekend as well with one of the uh, uh, Fed, uh, well, um, POE members stating that uh, any uh, potential stimulus really is just a short term, uh, shall we say, um, plaster. <clears throat> and it doesn't actually resolve the long term structural or fundamental problem in the economy. And thereby, it was, uh, from my perspective, really, it was certainly co co interpreted as being bearish, okay, for now. Uh, in terms of the French, or should we not the French, the Euro stocks, okay, daily chart, the Euro stocks clearly a topping tail today, okay, rejection, held the 200 MA, held the 200, held the horizontal resistance, therefore indicating a move lower. 60 minute chart, let's just have a look at this, folks, okay, so we're just taking the pivot lows and connecting it together. So pivot low connecting it together, you certainly have this potential now for breaking out this rising uh, bullish trend line, okay, so again looking to break lower, okay. Uh, in terms of here we go so again you have this uh, rising contracting wedge type pattern okay looking for a breakdown okay in terms of the uh, 10 minute chart looking at the lower time frame uh, 10 minutes clearly you have this H&S formation okay so certainly looking for weakness now you know oh, not only do you have one you have two if you take the pivot low from here connect the pivot low here so you have your left shoulder here your head obviously has been confirmed and you're looking for this right shoulder then looking for a break lower so multiple h and s formations and again indicating a move lower and looking for weakness okay folks looking for weakness that's my interpretation at the moment so again looking for risk off looking for this market certainly to move lower okay on the euro stocks okay folks so Let's just cross verify that with the stock 600 as well. Stock 600, you clearly see we're into horizontal resistance, we're into gap fill resistance, so we're therefore indicating weakness and a potential flush lower. The SP 350, European 350, at the moment we have exceeded 75%, so certainly something to consider, but horizontal resistance certainly looms. So, again, looking for weakness, looking for a move lower. Okay, let's go to the smaller time frame for you. Uh, again, potential intraday double top, and you clearly you should be able to see that better with the 10 minutes chart. Okay, so again, you have this intraday double top, and again, the markets have, been, have fallen ever since. So, double top and you drop, and that's exactly what I'm expecting. Okay, so my bias really for European indices is bearish, and I'm looking for a move lower, looking for a risk off and risk aversion trade. Okay, please be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs, and certainly take advantage of that potential bonus. Goodbye now.